I've bought a couple of whiskey, half whiskey barrels from a Scottish distillery and I'm going to convert them into fish ponds. When I got them yesterday they they didn't really hold water, I filled them up and they were sort of leaking and I think it's because the the gaps, um, because they dried out there were gaps between the planks so I filled them up overnight and they're holding water now. So I'm going to get them emptied out in position, fill them up again and we'll go from there. Right, I've emptied the barrel out. It's pretty easy to do. It's only sort of four or five bucket loads that fill it up. Uh, moved it to where it's going to be living and I've sort of orientated it so that the more interesting features are at the front. So I've got these rivets on the metal, um, I don't know what they are, metal kind of supports. And also where the bung uh, used to go in, just here. I'll just give you a bit of a closer look at the metal bands that go around and yeah, it's made of oak this barrel and you can see the inside of it has been charred i think that's fairly standard practice with whiskey barrels i don't think it really makes any difference from the point of view of using it as a as a pond so yeah i'm not too worried about that when i first got the barrel the you can sort of just about see it's it's made of lats so the lats are sort of two or three inches wide each they're different different widths actually um, and up near the top, there was actually a visible gap between them, so you could see air through there. And obviously, having filled it up with water, the wood's expanded, and it's filled that gap, so now it's it's holding water really well. I'm just getting the barrel filled back up again. It takes about 100 litres. Right, so it's all filled up, and I've ordered this little uh, solar-powered fountain as well. It was about 30, 30 or 35 quid, and it's really good. You literally... You don't actually have to set it up or anything, you just take it out of the box. Put, there's a choice of different nozzles on the top for what kind of water uh, flow you want. And then you just literally put it in and it starts working, which is it's really cool. One thing I will do with the fountain is I'll put some kind of string attachment to the bottom with maybe like a, I'm going to use like a fishing weight underneath. And that should just hold it in the middle because otherwise it just kind of floats around all over the place. So I'll do that. Um, I'm going to leave the water in there for a, a good couple of weeks before I put any any plants and fish in. So that should just sort of let it settle and get all the chlorine out of it. I've loaded the second barrel in the car because that's going somewhere else. It is quite heavy to lift actually. I think they're about 25 kilos, but they're a really awkward shape. So I'm taking a sack barrel with me to uh, to move it when I get round there. Interestingly, on this barrel, there is there's a, a bung actually still in the the hole which is quite a snug fit so this one does actually hold water right up to the to the top right i've had the barrel filled with water for a good few weeks now and i was hoping it would clear up and it would um you know the water would become sort of fresh and, and clear but it hasn't it's actually it's smelling quite a lot um it's, i wouldn't say it's necessarily a whiskey smell but i think it's the whiskey coming out the barrel which is making it kind of smell a bit weird i don't think it's going to be very good for the fish so i've had a bit of a change of plan and I've been out to B&Q and I've bought a pond liner and I'm going to put that in. Trying to get the plastic in as neatly as possible it's a little bit tricky because obviously the barrels are a strange shape and um, so there's quite a lot of fold around the outside but i'm just sort of folding them as neatly as i can and then i'm going to staple them to the barrel so the plastic will be cut um, about an inch below the the top of the barrel and there'll be a row of staples around the top and then i'm just going to use a bit of uh, black paint to touch up the staples so that they don't sort of show up as much and hopefully it should look okay
that's the liner in and I'm pretty happy with how it's looking you can just about make out the staples around the outside I was gonna sort of dab a little black paint on them just to back them off a bit but to be honest once the plants and stuff are in I don't think you're gonna see them so I'm gonna leave them for now some of you are probably thinking that the water will leak out of the holes which I have put through the plastic with the staples and yeah it probably will a little bit um, I'm not too worried because as I've established over the last few weeks the barrel does hold water so and I think it'll be minimal the amount of water that, that goes through the staple holes next I'm gonna put some pond plants in so I've got a miniature water lily and a couple of little I don't know what they are just little green pond plants that I'm gonna put in the bottom I'm just putting these in really gently because sometimes when you put plant pots into water like this all the soil can sort of come out the top and make a real mess. That's the plants in, I'm just going to leave the water to settle for probably a week or two and then I'll be able to put some fish in. I bought a chemical treatment for the water to make it safe for fish and I've been out and bought a couple of fish, you can just about see them down there, there's a goldfish and a shabunkin. And I also changed the water fountain, um, the water fountain's on the other, the other barrel which is elsewhere, uh, I'll show you that a bit later. But in this pond I've decided to put a, an aerator so again it's solar powered you can just see it at the bottom there there's like a aeration ball so there's a pump hidden at the back there and it just blows blows air in which is released down at the bottom and creates bubbles as you can see the Sun's just come out now and it's it's fairly fairly bubbling away so I just need to get a few more plants I want sort of a, a taller taller plant at the back which will kind of hide the tube that you can see there incidentally these pumps uh, you can just see it at the back there it's it's supposed to be weatherproof but not waterproof so I've put it in a little plastic container it was about 20 quid off Amazon the the pump itself and yeah that just sits it's sort of hung on the back of the pond there and the solar panel there's a wire you can see running along the back there and the solar panel just sits up here on top of the hedge so that's it, the pond is finished. Might get a few more plants, we'll see how big these ones get. Uh, there's two, there's still just two fish in there, but I'll probably put another, maybe another couple in. And yeah, pretty happy with it. One thing I have been wondering about is what the pond is gonna be like in the winter. So when it's really cold and it freezes, I'm not sure how much of it will freeze and whether I'll need to sort of insulate it a little bit um, just to protect the fish. But I'll cross that bridge when I come to it. I'm just round at the other pond. As you can see, this one has been varnished and the plastic has been stapled around the top rim. And then these stones are being glued around on the top. There's a few bags of fish in there at the minute, just being acclimatized. So this is the second barrel. As I say, this one has been varnished on the outside and it's got stones around the top and the fountain in rather than the aerator. I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button.